All right, he had first darts at double, let's have it right, but he still relied on his opponent missing. And he's leveled this match and set. Goes to Jamie Hughes, the disappointment of an opportunity of going one within winning the match. He starts off with 160, but Michael follows him. And this last set is coming to life. What a contest we're witnessing here. As the rank underdog Jamie Hughes puts it right up to Michael Van Gerwen to lead the prospect of what would be only the fourth nine dart leg in the history of the World Grand Prix. And first televised nine dart since Dimitri Van der Merck hit one in the Grand Slam last year. And it's on, treble 17 for the bullseye. Oh, and there's a smirk, that was a wild dart from well, Jamie Hughes. If you're going to miss Mark, you might as well miss by a yard as an inch. But the important thing here, let's focus on the important facet of this leg. Considering Hughes was on a nine dart bid there until the eighth dart, Van Gerwen is still right behind him. Remember, he went off with the maximum as well. This is to lead and go within one leg of the match. I know we always say it's important to win the leg, but it really is. Jamie Hughes, and he's not had a lot of luck on this double. And he has it again. Uh, that's ten times he's thrown at tops, and once he's hit it in terms of finishing doubles. It's on here still. It's on here still, the ball! Oh, my! When your back is against the wall, who do you want throwing at bullseye? You want Michael Van Gerwen. That is an incredible bullseye skin saver from the world number one that may, may put him through to round two of the World Grand Prix, and who knows, could be the pivotal moment in a title defence, it could culminate next Saturday. Remarkable, Mark. Absolutely remarkable. Well,